So imagine you decide one day to walk into your boss's office and say, thanks, but my job here is sort of getting in the way. I'm leaving to pursue my real passion, fantasy football. And forget about telling your boss. That would be difficult enough. Imagine trying to tell your significant other that that's your plans. Our next guest did just that. Consumed by fantasy football fever, he's written Committed, Confessions of a Fantasy Football Junkie. And with us now to discuss the book, the book's author, Mark St. Amant. Mark, very good to have you in. Good to be here, Jay. That's a kind of a Thanks. crazy thing to do. What led you to the decision to just chuck your career and become a writer about yes, fantasy football? It was a little insane, but um, first off, I think I, I was shocked that for a hobby that had exploded so much into a national phenomenon, pop culture, sports phenomenon, there hadn't been a book like this written about it. There had yeah. been no, no fever pitch for fantasy football, no season on the brink for fantasy football. Right. Um, and, and these fantasy football nuts, they're fanatical about information. Yeah. And so I, myself, being one, said, you know, I, there's no book like this. I guess I'd better write it. What did your boss and, say when you said you wanted to do that? Um, she sort of looked at me a little bit cross-eyed and said, all right, good luck with all that. You know? <laughs> and what did your wife say? She uh, thought I was insane to begin with, I think. Yeah. So it didn't really phase her. But uh, although it, 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 the book part of it was um, I had to say, say that something productive would come out of it. And so I couldn't just go to her and say, well, you know what? I want to play fantasy football full time. You know, it's a horrible recession. Who needs the job and benefits? Let's just, uh, you know, I'm just going to sit in front of a computer all day. Right. So I had to say something productive would come out of it. And I said, so maybe I'll write a book about it. Yeah, well, so, that's a good plan. Uh, yeah, it seems yeah. to be working out for you. Yeah. What do you want people to take away from the book? I think more than anything that it's just a fun, social, interactive hobby that, that allows people to bring their love of the NFL to a new level. Not yeah. to use the old sports cliche, but to the next level. It's, um, it, it's, it's a very social, fun hobby where, where co-workers can get together, friends can get together. Yeah. And um, it, it's just a fun, entertaining, but informative read and a, a real look into the obsession and the subculture and why it's exploded and how it's exploded and just the crazy stories about what people go through every season like, like me. Now, in the so. book, you offer us some tips. Uh, right, what are your, right. what, What's your advice? Well, I mean, I, I think first and foremost, um, it all starts at the draft. Yeah. It all starts at the draft. Um, you, you, when it comes down to running backs are king. And this year, you know, it's changed a little bit with yeah, Peyton uh, exploding. Has. But running backs are king. Avoid running back by committee when you can. If there right. are two running backs who you're deciding between, if one's the primary ball carrier, if another one's being taken out on third downs, yeah. go with a guy who has no, you know, running back by committee is, is the, the virus, the evil virus in fantasy football. <laughs> um, so avoid that if yeah. you can. Uh, it all starts with the draft. Be prepared. You know, don't be the guy who comes in with the magazine that's six months old and, and has, uh, you know, Ricky Williams still starting for the Dolphins, even though he's off in the Himalayas with <laughs> Woody Harrelson and the Dalai Lama. You know, just uh, uh, be prepared. Yeah. Be prepared. Do your homework, then, right, to be right. sure. Um, how are you as a fantasy player? Are you good? I, you know, well, that's, that's part of the reason why I was fed up and I had to quit was because I was the most knowledgeable, dedicated, hands-on owner in my league. I had spent the most time, more time than anybody. And yet something would always happen at the end of each year. Yeah. It would either be something uh, bad luck or a dumb lineup decision, and I wouldn't win my league. So I was so fed up with never having won my league. I said, all right, I kicked to the curb. Like you said, the one thing that was getting in the way, yeah. my job. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm good. I, I think over the course of the, the writing the book and the book research, I, I got even better just because I picked so many brains. Um, this year, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's ironic, but uh, this year I'm having uh, uh, a, a better year than, than ever before. Well, um, congratulations. I have I, Peyton. I have Peyton Manning. Well, so. and, and, well that's a very good He's thing to have. He's the gold standard yeah. this year, yeah. So. Uh, I hate when that darn job gets in the way of fantasy football. <laughs> I know, I know. And, and here's a man who you went out and did something Got to get rid of it. Well, yeah. you know what? Congratulations to you Thank and you uh, continued much. success. Thanks, uh, we hope Jay. it works out for you. Appreciate it. By the way, uh, Mark is still married, so it, it, everything must be going okay. Yeah, she didn't divorce <laughs> me, so all was well, yeah. Committed Confessions of a Fantasy Football Junkie is available in stores, and you can get it online now as well. Now it's time to go on the road.